Tim Listlin grew up in Vero Beach, and he's been through his share of storms. But what he went through Sunday night shocked even him. And I have never seen anything that fast, that explosive, that violent, and then gone. He was outside getting ready to cook dinner in the River Grove community of Mico, but decided to hold off. I saw two funnel clouds over here. They didn't touch the ground and they blew over. And then when people say you hear the, fr I didn't hear a freight train. I heard metal and roofs. His neighbor's roof ended up half a mile away on US-1. He lost his as well. The roof went, that's when the, the twister that I, 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 I went like this and it boom, and I went to tornado. And it seemed like it was only about 50 or 60 feet off the ground. The National Weather Service out of Melbourne says the tornado was an EF zero, about 60 to 70 miles an hour. It was on the ground for about three tenths of a mile, and damaged about two dozen homes here in this community. Between two dozen and 30 homes received some type of damage. In the spirit of neighbors helping neighbors, though, not 24 hours after the tornado touched down, crews were out cleaning up the scattered debris. A lot of these are elderly people retired on disability. They can't come out here and clean up in this weather, much less clean up in any weather. Listland says his home was engineered to do what it was supposed to. The roof detached and released while keeping the rest of the home intact. The good news here is no one was hurt and the Red Cross was on hand Monday, helping residents without roofs now get at least a temporary roof over their head. In Mico, John Shaman, WPTV, News Channel 5.